how to make a network between two plc okay come here i want to show you what we have here we have a we have a main plc and we have a second plc as you can see we have a barrier uh, and we have a scale lens there is a network between this plc and this by this scale lens so i have an analog input on this plc and i want to send these data to this plc as you can see we have just a uh, profinet network cable on this plc okay come here as you can see we have a topology here uh, we have a uh, the main one and the second one okay and this is a network okay uh, the main thing that you should consider the subnet and the ip both of them must be in the range okay and then we have a we have a, a parameter on the uh, protection and security and that is permit access with put and get communication from remote partner you should activate this on both of plc so let me check the other one uh here yes i have checked both of them and the next step on the first plc look here i want to send the data from this plc to this plc okay on the first plc i make a data block that is the first i put the name of first and it should be it must be unoptimized as you can see it's on optimize okay so i have a two signal on this plc on the first plc as you can see we have a norm x a scale x and let me show you i send these two data m double m double 300 m double 310 to these uh, uh variable on the data block so if you check here i have a first and I have a two variable that AI1 and AI2. Okay, that's it. So we will go to the second PLC and then I will go to there and make a data block and that is second. This is where that I want to get the data from the first PLC. Okay, I have two variable here, AI uh, on the line S on the line one and the number two. Okay, after that, I, I will go to the second PLC on the main OB1 and I use get. How you can call it, it's here on um, communication, S7 communication and get, that's it. Okay, after that, you will go to the uh, properties of that and we have here, it says, what is the the partner the partner is a the first plc that's obvious and the other the other parameters are okay i will go to the block parameter it says uh, how you how you uh, what is your interval for re requests okay you can choose for example your clock i'm say for example 10 hertz that is the the fastest clock on the PLC and after that here it says a read area read area is for your partner for first PLC it says where is your data that I want to get that you want to get I said it's data block 6 as you can see it's here db6 dot dbx 0 dot 0 and say I have two real data you, you must to get it get them and then put them here on the store area where is that it's here the the second data block it's db2.dbx00.0.0 and two real and after that the other one is it is not big deal you can use these variable for them and that's it let's go and uh, check it online go online so I have two data block one of them is here first data block let me open it open please 
Okay, that's it. I will go to monitoring. As you can see, I have two signal from field. And let's see the second data block. And let's be on online and side by side. Okay, guys. As you can see, it's perfectly work. And I, if I change the signal, Okay, you can see we have new number. It's real time. It's perfect. That's it, guys. Have a good time. Bye-bye.